So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to be all about the start of my Great One Black Bear grind here on Silver Ridge Peaks and so far it's been going pretty well so this video is just to go over and talk to you guys about what method I'm using and the first few trophies I've got and all of that good stuff. Now, like I said, it's been going pretty well. I am just under 1,000 kills into this grind so far. I will be hitting that 1,000 kill mark probably by the time this video goes live. I only need a few more to actually get to that point. And it's been, like, like I said, it's been going pretty well. Now, in terms of method that I've been using, I've been using the same method that I tend to use for everything, which is kill everything. Same as what I've done on most of my Great One Grides, it's just killing everything, whether it's male, female, big or small, just annihilating as many of that species as possible and hoping for respawns. Now, so far, that's been going really, really well for me. My bears have been re respawning as, as exactly as I would expect. And I've heard that some people have been having issues with getting their bears to respawn. I haven't had that issue so far. And, you know, I've I've said it on previous grinds that killing the females just, I feel, helps to keep things consistent for me. And it's so far working out that way on this grind as well. Now, I want to stress this, as I always do when talking about Great One Grinding. This method is a method that I choose to use. I'm not saying I'm the one who came up with it. Um, I know there's other people that use this method as well of killing everything. But this is just the method that I prefer to use. I'm not saying it's the best method out there. I'm not saying you guys should definitely follow this. But it's worked on, you know, my Great One grinds previously. It's worked on other trophy animal grinds. So I figured I'd just stick with what's worked for me so far and carry on doing that. Uh, but like transfer it over to bears if that makes sense so just use the same method but change the species and like i said so far it's been working pretty well now i find it interesting i haven't had any legendaries show up yet but at the end of the day i'm not looking for level 9 respawns i'm looking for a level 10 respawn so maybe i just won't get any this grind i know that there have been other people that have successfully gotten great one black bears already that actually had no diamonds or rares or anything turn up on their grind and then there was a level 10 so i'm not worrying about it too much i know i'm getting good respawns because i've had a few rares as i mentioned which i will show off a little bit later in this video so i know that things are going pretty smoothly and working pretty well i've had a few level eights and you know quite a few max weight level sevens so i I'm just happily sort of grinding along, just hoping that eventually a level 10 will pop up. And I'm working super, super hard on this grind as I normally do with my Great One grinds. 12 plus hours a day of just shooting bears over and over again, hoping that eventually I'll get lucky. And yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. But like I said, I always want to stress that, you know, the best method for a Great One grind is the method that works for you. Because a lot of it's going to be personal experience and what you personally feel works best for you. This is the method that I personally feel has worked best for me on not just Great One grinds, but other grinds too. So that's why I'm sticking with this method. But if you guys find that this method doesn't work for you, if you, you know, you start shooting all your bears and you don't think that it's going too well, then, you know, change it up and see what works for you. I never ever want to be the person that says, this is the perfect method for getting great ones. Because like I said, it's it's random at the end of the day. And as long as you're killing killing the species that you're you know looking for a great one from whether it's red deer or black bear or or white tail as long as you're killing white tail or red deer or black bears and getting respawns you're doing the right thing all of the talk about different methods and stuff like i said it comes down to personal opinion personal experience there's a lot of personal factors in there so yeah like i said this is the method i'm choosing to use and I'm choosing it because it's worked best for me in the past. And that is that. Is that. So yeah, when you guys uh, are wanting to start a black bear grind for the great one black bear, do, you know, do try different things out. And I will always say this, you know, maybe, maybe give this method a try. See if it works for you. If it doesn't, change it up and just see, see what works best for you. But anyway, I guess I'm kind of rambling about that point. But I always want to stress that. I never want people to think that I'm saying 
my my way of doing things is perfect or anything like that because it just wouldn't be true so you know like i said there's no real perfect way the perfect way is what works for you if that makes any sense now you will have seen the first couple of clips i was using the 308 and that was just because i was still setting up my various locations so i was just carrying the 308 and 10s and the only reason i was carrying the 308 over the 300 was literally because i came off of uh, realm 2d multiplayer and just got onto srp and i had the 308 already on me and i didn't switch it over to the 300 until i think a day in and I would highly recommend using the 300 over the 308. The 308 is a great rifle and it's really, really good for those fast follow ups and, you know, taking down multiple animals at once. But something that it can't do that the 300 can is you'll see here I'm shooting bears as they're running away, sort of in the backside. And I can get a flesh hit and they will die. But with a 308, they don't always die from a flesh hit, I've noticed. Whereas with the 300, they do. And they seem to at a pretty decent rate. And especially, you know, with the 300 having that bit extra power, sometimes it can get through to a non-vital organ, which is going to bring it down quicker than a flesh wound. And you'll notice I really don't care when I'm just shooting low-level males and females about what shots I'm taking. I only care about bringing the animal down. Obviously, I'm going to try and get those vital hits if I can, just because they bring the animal down quicker, so it means less tracking for me. But if they're running away, I will just take shots as they're running away and hope to bring them down as quickly as possible. And, you know, that's how I go about doing things. Now, I'm managing to down several hundred bears a day, and I'm pretty happy with that. I maybe want to increase it a little bit more, but so far it's been going pretty pretty well and pretty steadily. And, you know, like I said, I'm ne very, very nearly, like I said, by the time I've got this video out, should be at 1,000 kills. And, like I said, I'm killing males and females, so I'm counting all of them that I'm killing. So yeah, I feel like it's going pretty well and that's basically all I wanted to say about that. Now, you will have just noticed there, that was a not a common black bear that was peeking out from those reeds. It was actually a level 5 male cinnamon. Now, this was the first rare that I had show up on this Great One grind and I thought it was really, really cool to actually see him sort of poking his head up above the reeds there. I just thought that, that looked really, really cool. And then I managed to flush him out because I knew it was a male because I was getting male warning call and I could see it warning calling. And I didn't want it to be, you know, a high level and just take a risky shot while it was in the reeds. So that's why I flushed him out. And as you will have seen, he ran out this way and I could see that he was a level five. But these guys are seriously, seriously beautiful. The updated, like, fur for the black bears, you know, that we got with Mississippi, it is just stunning. And on the, 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 uh, the colour phases, so the blonde, the cinnamon and the brown, it just looks amazing. And with this new harvest screen as well, the cinnamons almost look like a fiery red. I think they are really, really beautiful. Now, I did tax him as this is actually my first rare male black bear. And it feels so weird still to say rare black bear because for so long there were no rare black bear. And then with Mississippi, you know, the colour phases became rare. So it's, it's such a, a change to what I'm used to. But, you know, these guys are really, really stunning. And I'm actually quite glad that these are a rare now. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first, but they are so, so beautiful that I think they do deserve to be a rare. Now, earlier today, I ended up finding another cinnamon, this time a level two female. And actually, I'll just tell you guys now, so far, every rare that I've had on this grind has been a cinnamon. I don't know what kind of RNG that is, but I have had multiple cinnamons in this 1000 kills. No legendaries, plenty of mythicals on level 7s, like I said, but no legendaries, but a lot of cinnamon bears. And I'm not going to complain because these are beautiful. And, you know, I really would like to get a gold one. So obviously a female is not going to be a gold, she is just a bronze, but still a really beautiful looking bear. Managed to get that lung shot in there as well, which I was pretty happy with. But these guys are just so beautiful now. I never really liked bears in Call of the Wild, I'll be honest with you. And since I've started this grind, I have 
totally got a new appreciation for these guys. I like them a lot more, and in fact, they might be one of my favourite species in game now. I just think they are really, really cool, and I just never really took much notice of them, I guess, before, and now I'm spending time killing so many. I think they're stunning. Now, I actually actually shot this level 4 while he was in some shadows, didn't see that it was a cinnamon and unfortunately didn't get the shot on, like, on, in a recording, but I did actually manage to hit record as I was coming to pick him up when I saw that it was a cinnamon. And unfortunately, I ended up not getting any footage of me uh, finding this level 6 cinnamon and shooting him, as unfortunately my shadow play had switched itself off and I didn't know about it. And I picked, a, picked him up, went to hit my shadow play to get it to record the shot and everything that I made, and unfortunately it wasn't, wasn't active, so unfortunately there was no footage for that. But I've had a level 4, level 5, and level 6 male cinnamon, and that one female. And then we have this. This is the only diamond I have found during this Great One grind, and it's not even a black bear. It's a level 4 Rocky Mountain Elk with a minimum estimate of 494. I was in shock. That's a level 4 that is guaranteed diamond, and not just guaranteed diamond, but guaranteed it by like nearly, I think nearly 14 points or 13 points. It's ridiculous. He is so huge. I could not believe this was a level 4. If I saw this in multiplayer, I'd be questioning if it was a, a dodgy server. But it's a level 4 diamond that scores 500.60 I didn't I still don't know what to make of this. I can't believe it even still. It's so crazy. How is this a level 4? I will never ever understand how this is a level 4. Like I don't know if that's an error and it should say level 5 because this is bigger than some level 5s I've killed. This is insanely big. And managed to get in there with the 308 as I said you know, I started off using the 308 and I actually found this on day one of setting up for the black bears and I had the 308 on me so I took him with the 308. But that's just an amazing ball and I just did not expect to see that running out and for it to be, like I said, to be a guaranteed diamond and then end up scoring 500.60. Anything over 500 for these guys is really big. I just can't believe it. I think it's my biggest one with this rack style. I, I just, I don't know how this was a level 4. Even looking at it again, I'm still in shock. I think it's probably because of the width or something. Because this guy has huge spread. But then I look to the true score and it doesn't say that spread factors in. So I really don't know what happened with this one. All I know is it was a super, super cool harvest. And you can see there, diamond requirement is 481.40. And he's a 500.60 as a level 4. Like I said, I, I really don't know how this is a level 4. I honestly, I'm really surprised. And I've been really excited actually to share this with you guys. Because I'd love to know if anyone else has had a level 4 this big. Because I knew level 4 diamond, Rocky Mountain Elk were a thing. But I've never, ever, ever seen one this big. Like normally they just barely make it. So whether that's an error and it should be a level 5 or what, I really don't know. But I am still in shock over this elk. And yeah, definitely a cool one to put into the into the new trophy lodge. Because he's an awesome looking bull. And yeah, pretty cool. You know, it was a level 4 and everything that goes along with that. I think it just makes it a little bit extra special. But yeah, really, really cool. And I think it's been a pretty good start to this great one black bear grind. Like I said, I'm about to hit that 1000 kill mark. Probably, like I said, by the by the time this goes live, I should have hit that. And I'm really excited to hopefully eventually find one of these bears. I'm going to try my absolute hardest and keep grinding as hard as I have been the past few days. And hopefully eventually I can find one because they are absolutely gorgeous. There's so many cool fur types that we've seen already. And it sounds like there's still more to find. So I'm really, really, really excited about all the possibilities. And, you know, I... 
I I want to grind for all of them. They look so beautiful. But I think just getting the first one is going to be sort of the more major hurdle because it's going to be a learning curve and everything, as it always is with Great One Grinds. You know, the first one that you get, you learn so much about the species you're grinding as you're doing it that it kind of becomes easier over time, I think. But anyway, I'll stop rambling now. So yeah, just a quick update for you guys just to let you know, let, let you guys know what I'm doing so there might not be as many sort of trophy videos over the coming I don't know days weeks that I'm grinding for a great one black bear but I think what I'll do is probably grind for the one and then head over to Revon Tuli again for a few weeks and then maybe go back for another great one if I get lucky enough to find one in the first place. Because as I always say with great one grinds it's not when it's if. I always you know I know it's a really, really low spawn and I know that if I do get one, I'm incredibly fortunate and I never, never forget that. So it's if, not when. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. It really does mean the world. Thank you so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.